I thought I would talk about this painting, which is quite unusual, as you can see. It's called In a World Where Images Are Ubiquitous, Art Without Meaning Is Dead. I've never been a fan of short titles. It actually was created for an exhibition about Art Nouveau art. And I wanted to do something that reflected the modern times and also the old times, as Art Nouveau was a genre from around the turn of the uh, 20th century, which was an aesthetic movement. It really concerned itself with beauty in different forms and often used the organic as an inspiration, such as plant forms and animal forms. And I've done something that was slightly plant and animal form, but it's also bone-like to sort of represent the, sort of the death of Art Nouveau and, and in many ways the death of various things, particularly the death of art. Um, like most of my paintings and uh, most of my artwork, there's a, a great deal of history of art and relationship to art history in it. I'm definitely err on the side of classicist. So what do we see here? We've got a fabulous strange ossified brown frame and in the middle you have a grey sky and two trees which are twisted and shaped to form a skull in the gaps between their branches. We have a bird, a black crow hovering over both of them also reinforcing death so that's what much of this the upper part of the painting is about but down here we have got lots of interesting images, all, we, all upside down images. We've got uh, a Mandelbrot set uh, from computer art. We've got a uh, pretty girl. We've got some spots, coloured spots and strawberry and a kitten. And they're in squares because that sort of represents um, photographs, squares, photographs. They're like Polaroids that have been cast into the sea upside down in the underground of this fantastical landscape underground beneath the trees that represent art we've got lots of Polaroid photographs which have been discarded. So the Polaroid photographs are really the internet really and um, the present day where images and photographs are, are everywhere and it's the painting itself is making a statement that imagery is everywhere so to create a meaningful artwork, to create an artwork that's good, you need to add more than just pretty imagery. That's why the Mandelbrot set is there. It's like the archetype of a pretty image. But it doesn't mean anything, it's just beautiful. And so the painting as a whole has a lot of meaning, it's a lot of depth, and the concept behind it is that meaning is important. It's more important than ever in art because um, images are ubiquitous. Hence the title. In a world where images are ubiquitous, art without meaning is dead.